I'm Shamomoti and I'm candidate or oh, I am candidate number 22 on the ballot list. I have identified a uh, few problems along the university, which is NSFAS and the lack of communication between NSFAS and the university. Students really suffer because of the lack of com communication amongst NSFAS and the university. This issue is not emphasized enough and causes unnecessary delays amongst, amongst students which may lead to students or which may lead to funding being used in an incorrect manner. Late registration, students not receiving their allowances on time and so forth. I believe that uh, this is an issue which is shocking because this is a university of technology which is raised, which is ranked among the best in the world and South Africa. This could be fixed by identifying the problem, whether it's from the school side or the NSFAS office, offices. This can be fixed by hiring students, which will increase their experience and which will give staff at large a helping hand. NSFAS must send a team of the officials to be with us here on, in, on the in university which will, from the beginning of registration until the end of registration. This, may, this will prevent unnecessary delays and will help students to prevent themselves from killing themselves. The N plus two rules. This rule has prevented many of from complete, completing their qualifications, moving up in life in terms of getting themselves and families being able to provide for them. A lot of students experience such. I believe we. I believe that this rule should be give, be on that appeal form as much as any reason, because of the reasons which vary for one not completing their course in due time. The increment of allowances. This is typical common sense because yearly food allowance, food increases, expenses increase, and this. And the university should not even discuss such matters. These because are the few things I've identified as a candidate number 22 that I would like to change going forward on the, on the 19th to the 20th. Please make an educated vote. Amanda.